TikTok. TikTok. 24 is back, and if you've missed previous episodes, I don't wonder why he's here anymore. I really just don't. So, welcome back to 24 Live Another Day with Mr. Dark Phoenix, Spider-Man, and apparently Batman 2. Before I jump right into the episode, let's just talk about how there will be spoilers. So if you haven't seen the episode, please watch it first and then come back to us. But if you haven't seen it, but you like to hear how I talk about stuff, then please carry on and continue. Let's have a talk. Sit down. I'm ready on my bed. Let's talk. Let's talk about 24. Let's talk about how it's safe to go to sleep knowing that Jack Bauer is back. Ah, uh, 24 is back. It's like a it's like a breath of fresh air. I just can't help it. But let's jump right back into 24. Live another day, 1 p.m. to 2 p.m. So we're afternoon time because if you've seen 24 as much as I have, you know shit hits the fan at night because that's when the sneaking goes around and Jack hits people with flashlights and tortures them. And I can't wait for it to get to be to be nighttime. Jack and Chloe's adventures to find the plot of the series. Have, not having 24 for so long is a good thing and a bad thing, because it's a bad thing because I haven't been able to watch it, but it's a good thing because the series, even though it's 12 episodes, it literally takes off right where the other ones left you. Like, even though it hasn't been on for a while, it's still good to have that sense of they haven't lost their way, and it's still 24. Like, you still have the, all, the, all the things that make 24-24, the drama, and, you know, they chase the main series, and they chase the plot line, but then they lose it, so that's why it's got to continue for so long. And, ugh, I love this show so much. It's great to have it back. That crafty liar, oh, she's good? Catelyn trained her good. I'm calling her Catelyn from now on every episode. Apparently she was on the show before? I didn't even know that, so could you please comment? when Catelyn was on the show before because I don't remember seeing her. I remember Imhotep being on the show. The other gypsy woman who was like the gypsy woman in like everything. I think she's also on Grimm and Tony and the other people and I don't remember seeing her. Then again I had no reason to remember seeing her because I didn't because Game of Thrones didn't exist. So maybe that's why but please comment down below what season she was on or who was she because I just can't remember. For the life of me. I'll pretty much find it if I watch on Netflix again. Holy crap, it's on Netflix. Note to self, watch 24 on Netflix. Jack's been a little rusty, but it's good to see him beat the shit out of random train people. Massive thumbs up because Jack just wanted to hit people because Jack was already mad. <laughs> and people were starting to mess with him, so... What better way to beat the shad of strangers, really? Like, come on now, let's be serious here. Again, really crafty, 24 never stops with the drama and the adrenaline. Which is what I mentioned before. Even Batman was on edge, and you know nothing makes him on edge. And Spider-Man, too. He kept webbing stuff because he wanted to save things and hit people, but he couldn't. Which is really sad because they are both just there. Watching it with me. We missed the major plot, but there was a reason, and I totally forgot about this, because I really wish they would have done like a marathon of season 8 of 24 before jumping into this, or they would have promoted the earlier seasons a little better, because stuff happens, and I, every, everybody forgot. Like, they just basically sprung the season on us, like, hey, look, here's 24, and we're like, oh, shit, wait, wait, I don't remember anything. What happened? And apparently Chloe's husband and the son are dead, and I didn't even know that. I mentioned there'd be spoilers, right? Yeah, I did. Um, yeah, I told I I thought that I thought that they got divorced, and he took custody of the kid, and they were off somewhere. So I thought we were gonna see them sometime this season, but it turns out that's a damn lie, and we ain't gonna see nobody. That kind of hurts. So I'm like, oh, poor Chloe. And when the girl was right behind her, I was like, there's the plot. There's the plot. Get her. I had my gun. I was gonna shoot to check myself, but. I can't show up everywhere now. I gotta let Jack do some stuff on his own, you know. Gotta keep my shoulders clean and they can't help. Well, they can, but it would be weird if a guy in a spider suit and a guy in a Batman suit accompanied by a man in a phoenix costume. Never mind. I hate Audrey's husband. You Haven't you noticed that every single season has a person that goes against the orders of a highly elected official and then shit hits the fan later because of it. 24 is back. Everything we love about it, 
has continued. I'm not sure how this is going to end with it being 12. Maybe they'll end it with a cliffhanger and then they'll just bring back 24 and 12 again next season. But then go back to making it 24 or something. But every season has one. You always have that person that always disobeys, and I just can't. You just get, why? Just, just, why does this have to happen? I hate him. And he, just wait. Just, because Jack's close. Wait till he find Audrey ass. And they're going to be like, whoops, you ain't a vegetable no more. Let's get back together. Because Jack goes through women like James Bond. And something bad happens to a lot of them. Which is actually really horrible if you think about it. Go Catelyn Stark. You're a badass leader like you were a badass on Game of Thrones. I love her so much. I can't wait to see more of her. Blonde bitch CCU agent is really getting on my nerves. Me and my friend were talking about this. About how the hell is she so damn smart and so damn knowledgeable on Jack and knows exactly what to do. I don't like how you're trying to make her broken. Alright? Don't nobody catch up to Jack except for maybe Chloe and definitely Tony. And only people whose names rhyme can fucks with Jack. So Chloe and Tony. That's it. No blonde bitch agent who should have left but did leave because you want to take on Jack Bauer, bitch, please. Again. I only say bitch, please, when they ain't got no shot, bitch, please. Get out of here. No one stops Jack Bauer. Like I said, except for maybe Tony with the help of somebody else. I wonder if Tony can come back. Ooh, that'd be good. That'd be a good cliffhanger to have Tony at the end of it. Figuring out everything. No. That's bullshit. Unless she's working with someone who does know a lot about Jack, but then she was, C she was CTU and her husband, blah, 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 and such and such. So, unless they're going to make her a double agent who's working for someone that knows a lot about Jack, a.k.a. Tony, then that would be a good plot twist because how else would you know so much? How, else would, you, how, 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 how would you know how he thinks unless you were trained that way? Granted, they were told about Jack, but... No one knows a lot about him, so maybe she's a double agent working for Tony. Wishful, hashtag wishful thinking. Comment down below what you think about my theory about her working for Tony and being a double agent. Audrey, you were so much better at being a vegetable. I'm so damn, she makes me sick. She made me sick when she was alive, she made me sick. She didn't make, I loved her when she was a vegetable, she just laid there and said nothing. Like a damn starfish. Jack Bauer is awesome. And tracking Jack and betraying him gets you nowhere. And it gets you bullets. Bullets in bad places. Like here. Or here. Or your leg. Where he can punch it and make it hurt. Yeah, betraying Jack sucks. And that leads off in this episode. I like how Jack was in the crowd and then he shot the people randomly. And he was like, oh my god, we're being shot at. Run! And then he made it in the thing and I was like... People complained about him being Solid Snake. They obviously have not seen 24. Jack is Snake in 24. I'm sorry. I can't help it. I love this show so much. This for this episode, this episode is really good. It really helps to build up attention. And let's just jump into our comment questions of the day. First one I already mentioned. What do you think about my her working for Tony secretly theory? Comment down below. Comment question of the day number two is what do you think of Blonde Bitch CTU agent? And comment question thing number three is, what do you think the grand scheme of things is in the circle of our world of 24? Can't wait to hear your comments. Thank you all so much for watching. Don't forget to give me a big thumbs up, comment, rate, subscribe, and share with all your awesome friends. I'll be back with great weekly content as long as there are weeks in the month. So there's always weeks, so there will always be weekly content coming from yours truly. Always remember through good times and bad times to geek out and enjoy your lives. I'm going to catch you guys next week. And thank you all so much for watching 24.